This is a quick video about my new car. It's a Aston Martin V8 Vantage S, 2012. First things first, let's start off with this key. Aston Martin calls it the emotional control unit. As you can see, it's uh, quite a little piece of art. It's really quite heavy. There's nothing to attach it to, so it goes in a little leather pouch. And that's a uh, sapphire on the front. It's non-scratch, made by Swarovski. You can see the uh, mirrors go in and out, unlock. And to open here, you press this, and this will pop out. Window goes down a little. Inside is uh, incredible leather uh, with white stitching and the uh, piano black uh, wood inserts here and on the center console. You can see there's not too much room. Just two little seats here, but beautiful stitching details everywhere. I'll show you in the door here. This looks like it's uh, just stitching on a piece of leather, but it's actually three pieces of leather on top of each other. So everything is just extremely luxe. I'm going to step in now. So inside the cabin, it's a cozy little fit. I have the seat as far back as possible. You can see a uh, beautiful console here. Everything is aluminum, not plastic. We have paddle shifters here. It's a uh, 430 horsepower, naturally aspirated 4.7 liter V8 with 361 pounds of torque um, and a seven speed uh, they call it the Sport Shift 2 gearbox. So uh, it does actually drive in automatic, but uh, I wouldn't actually call it driving. It's sort of just being thrown about. It really does want you to uh, paddle through all of the gears. Uh, There's a tiny little bit of storage here. Um, in theory, a cup holder, but I wouldn't put anything in it because it's super shallow and it would fall. A little trinket box with a plug. Even that's lined with leather. I mean, it's like literally everything in here is leather. This detail again down here. It's even a little leather pad down by the paddles, which are aluminum. See, even the box opens with a nice little uh, electronic mechanism there. You could hear that. And that's the little storage shelf in the back and the boot. So to start it up, take this little key, the little emotion control unit, Insert it here in the dashboard. Uh, push it in just to start, and you'll see all the uh, electronics come to life. Pure, uh, pure something it read in there. I don't really know what the message is. Um, to start it up, you have to push the uh, brake pedal. And listen to the sound. Started up again uh, outside so you could hear that, uh, and also with the windows down. Uh, the nav is in the dash, it comes up with this button. It's the new Garmin system, so it has a nice, nicer interface than it used to have. It was really hated before, it was pretty old school looking. It's all controlled by a little knob down here. Uh, the, this car is equipped with a Bang & Olufsen speaker system. Turn that on here. See the little tweeters here, rows from the dash. It's a thousand watts. I'm told that's quite a lot. It's a really lovely sound. Uh, inside there's other little details like this uh, expensive pen. Nice little Aston Martin pen. I don't know who needs a pen anymore. Uh, locks and trunk. I'm going to turn it off and go uh, outside again. Both doors open. You can see uh, they go up at a nice angle, which is really great when your passenger doesn't realize how low the car is. And it is very low, very hard to get out of uh, any sort of steep driveway, gas stations, etc. But the bottom of that is uh, it's built to withstand some force. 
But yeah, when someone opens the door and they don't realize that you're actually lower than the sidewalk, it's nice to actually have clearance. You can see that they're at that angle. I'll just quickly open the boot here, as we call it. Um, you can see it's uh, basically good enough for a carry-on. I can get my golf bag in here, but I have to take the driver out. Comes with uh, also this nice little umbrella install and uh, an Aston Martin branded umbrella that's also, like everything else, really quite heavy and I'm sure it costs a fortune to replace, so that's never coming out. Now I'm just going to do a little uh, test drive experience. <laughs> 